listeners this video will discuss william shakespeare's hamlet hamlet is a tragedy play it is otherwise called as the tragedy of hamlet the prince of denmark this play by william shakespeare was written sometime between 1599 and 1601 this is the longest play of shakespeare which has 29551 words this play is set in denmark the play depicts the story of Prince Hamlet and his revenge against his uncle Claudius. Claudius murdered Hamlet's father in order to seize his father's throne and to marry his mother. The play Hamlet is considered among the most powerful and influential tragedies in the English language. In addition to this, the play has many retelling plots and many have adapted this play in different genres. Let us have a short author note about William Shakespeare. He was born in the year 1564 and died in the year 1616. As we know, he was an English playwright, poet and actor. He is regarded as the greatest writer in English language, also the world's greatest dramatist. He is called as England's national poet, also referred as Bard of Avon, or simply he is referred as the Bard. Shakespeare has totally collaborated 39 plays, 154 sonnets, and three long narrative poems. He was born and raised in Stanford, Warwickshire. And at the age of 18, he married Annie Hathaway. He had three children with Annie. Their names are Susanna and twins Hamnet and Judith. Shakespeare began his successful career in London as an actor, writer and he is the owner of an acting company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men which was later named as King's Men. Let us now learn the characters of Hamlet. Hamlet, he is a main character. He is a prince of Denmark who is the son of the late King Hamlet and Queen Gertrude. When his uncle Claudius married his mother Gertrude, he becomes the stepson of Claudius. Hamlet is also the nephew of Claudius before he married his mother Gertrude. Next is Claudius. He is the uncle and stepfather of Hamlet. He becomes the new king of Denmark after the death of Hamlet's father. Claudius is the brother of Hamlet's father. After he kills his brother, he married Gertrude. Next is Gertrude. She is the mother of Hamlet and becomes the wife of Claudius and the queen of Denmark. There are two female characters in this play. One is Gertrude, another is Ophelia. Next is Polonius. He is a counsellor to Claudius and the father of Ophelia and Laetus. Next is Ophelia. She is the daughter of Polonius and the sister of Laetus and Hamlet's lover. Next is the ghost. This is another worldly presence which visits Hamlet early in the play. Rutzenkratz and Glidenstern. They are a pair of Hamlet's old school friends. Laetus. Laetus is Ophelia's brother and Polonius' son. He is a student at a university in France. Horatio. Horatio is Hamlet's trustworthy and a closest friend. Fortinbras. He is the prince of Norway. Next is Yorick. He is the deceased royal jester. There are minor characters in this play. Osric. First player. Grave diggers. Marcellus. Barnoda, Francisco, Oltman, Cornelius, Renaldo, Captain. This play has five acts. Act 1 has got five scenes. Act 2 has got two scenes. Act 3 has got four scenes. Act 4 has seven scenes. Act 5 has two scenes. This discussion delivers the whole summary of the play. As the play starts, a ghost resembles the deceased king of Denmark. It appears in front of the Denmark's royal castle. The castle's guardsmen were also observing the ghost's appearance. The soldiers such as Marcellus, Francisco and Bernardo 
they are terrified observing the ghost horatio the closest friend of hamlet he also witnesses the ghost at once he sees the ghost he decides to tell to the prince hamlet hamlet who is the nephew of the present king claudius he not only took the throne from his dead brother but also married his wife catro claudius is seen to be an able king he was handling the threat that was already existing between the norwegian prince potten bras potten bras was seeking to take back the land that his own father lost in battle with hamlet's father hamlet is already frustrated with his uncle's rule because he has taken back the throne from his father and also married his mother getru he is restless in seeing his mother with claudius in frustration hamlet agrees to meet the ghost and as he speaks with it he claims that it is the spirit of his father the ghost also reveals that he did not die a natural death but he was rather poisoned by his brother claudius hearing this hamlet becomes enraged and quickly he is expecting the ghost's command to seek revenge against his uncle claudius and as days pass by hamlet is uncertain and could not believe what the ghost has told him he could not purely come out with any good decision whether to murder his uncle claudius hamlet then behaved like a half mad man and he tries to commit suicide also becomes furious at all women everyone gets astonished by his behavior the king's old counselor polonius he believes that hamlet's behavior is due to his affection for ophelia that is the daughter of polonius claudius and getru they are unsatisfied with what polonius has assessed with their son the couple call for hamlet's old school friends rosencrantz and guildenstern to make them find out what's wrong with hamlet meantime polonius tries to develop a plot by spying the meeting of hamlet and ophelia but on the other hand hamlet himself develops a plot in order to find out the real murderer of his father he calls for a troop of actors in order to play on resembling claudius alleged murder of king hamlet by doing so hamlet decides to find out the guilt of claudius through his face reaction and if claudius reaction becomes doubtful then he will have no excuse to kill claudius polonius then join hands with claudius in spying ophelia and hamlet's conversation so during the conversation ophelia she returns the gifts that hamlet had given her Hamlet irritated by Ophelia's behavior he becomes rage he stops to believe women and also loses interest on marriage he also claims that women are sinners and orders Ophelia to enter into nunnery so that she would be hidden from men on spying the conversation claudius concludes that hamlet neither loves ophelia nor he is mad Claudius gets threatened by Hamlet's behavior and he decides to send him away to England where he will be less of a nuisance at the same time on the very night as the actors perform a scene by reciprocating the events of King Hamlet's murder Claudius runs away from the room and thus this proved of his guilt in Hamlet's eyes now hamlet's mother get rude she becomes anger with hamlet's embarrassing behavior at the play she calls him at the quarters to talk to him on what's going on hamlet when he was near to meet his mother he got a chance to revenge on claudius because he sees claudius alone praying in a chamber now hamlet he holds off thinking that if Claudius is praying and if he dies at the same time then his soul might go to heaven even after Hamlet determining that Claudius is the murderer of his father Hamlet could not 
take any action against claudius now hamlet he goes to meet his mother he says that he is betrayed by his mother of marrying claudius he also says that claudius might also kill her now the ghost of hamlet's father appear to hamlet again but getru claims that she could not see any spirit or any ghost in front of her then she cries out loud saying that her son has truly gone mad polonius who is already spying at hamlet's behavior behind a tapestry tapestry is a piece of heavy cloth which is hung towards the wall when polonius runs away behind the tapestry hamlet thinks that it is claudius and he stabs him through the tapestry claudius in claiming that he wants to protect himself from hamlet he sends him to london with rosencrantz and guildenstern the real motivation against sending hamlet to england is that Claudius sends a letter to the king of England that is the Denmark's ally to execute a fight with Hamlet meanwhile Polonius son Latus he returns from Denmark from his studies from the university in France to avenge his father's death he also finds his sister Ophelia who has gone insane out of the grief of thinking about her father's death and also Hamlet's rejection he watches her singing old nursery songs using this situation Claudius he convinces Latus saying that the death of Polonius and Ophelia's madness are the fault of Hamlet Claudius gets a new that Hamlet has escaped back to Denmark out of a fight now he plans a plot of thinking that Hamlet and Laertes must have a friendly meet together and in the meet Claudius thinks that he should give him a poisonous wine Ophelia she commits suicide and a funeral is arranged for her a pair of grave diggers who are preparing her grave they say that none of the rituals of christian burials were done to ophelia they say that ophelia will be buried with a limited set of rites rites is a ceremony which is performed by a particular group of people during the funeral since ophelia is a noble woman she only had limited rights hamlet he arrives back to elsinore to find the grave diggers at work as hamlet arrives he observes the grave diggers who are unknowingly digging the skull of yorick yorick is king hamlet's old court jester when hamlet observes the skull of yorick he understands that all living souls will reach the same ends he realizes that ophelia is dead and that he has come to bury her he bursts onto her memorial service arguing that nobody has loved him ever than ophelia and ophelia's brother also fall into grief now back in the castle hamlet tells horatio that he discovered the plot of claudius of ordering the execution of rosencrantz and guildenstern of ensuring that the pair will be killed when they reach england at the same time a courtier named osric he comes with a challenge duel letter from laertes now this is a plan of claudius of making laertes and hamlet to put into a duel game so that he will be killed with a poisonous wine hamlet reading the letter he bravely accepts however horatio warns hamlet and warns him that something bad could happen but hamlet replies that he no longer cares whether he lives or dies and he says that he will leave his fate up to god now during the match getrude drinks the poisonous wine glass before claudius could stop her but that wine glass should actually be given to hamlet laertes then owns hamlet with a poisonous blade but when they exchange the swords hamlet owns laertes Gertrude then falls off saying that the wine was poisonous and she dies. Laertes stabbed by Hamlet's sword he realizes that he is doomed by his own poison. 
he then reveals about claudius treachery treachery means the act of causing harmness to somebody who trusts us using this chance hamlet kills claudius by stabbing him with the same poisonous sword and pours the wine that is the poisonous wine inside his throat so this is the same way claudius has poisoned hamlet's father now both hamlet and laertes are forgiving each other hamlet also dies because he was also stabbed by laertes earlier as hamlet is on his last breath he hears the drums of fortin bras fortin bras is the prince of norway fortin bras marches through denmark after a battle with the polish and hamlet calls horantio in a dying breath he tells that fortin bras should ascend the throne as the next king of denmark hamlet then tells horatio that he should say the whole world about the full truth of hamlet then horatio he bids good bye to the sweet that is hamlet fortin bras he then enters with a pair of ambassadors from england he announces that rosencrantz and guildenstern are dead as horatio begins to deliver the story of hamlet fortin bras he orders hamlet's body will be lifted up on a bier and will be displayed with the due honor and glory of a soldier the themes of this play are action and inaction appearance versus reality religion honor revenge poison corruption death hope this video is helpful If you have query please write it down on the comment below thank you keep yourself subscribed